We recently just joined FAIR a month ago and we've gotten so many orders since we joined. <laughs> My name is Paige with Sensi Soapworks and today we are going to show you how we wholesale our products. So I'm going to walk you through how we package um, all our products. I do have to make some lip scrubs and also we are going to be doing a giveaway soon in the next video. We are so excited because we hit, we're over a thousand followers now and a thousand followers was our goal. I think we hit that in December but we got so busy with the holidays and then we had a big trip to Peru. So yeah we've been super busy but we are going to be doing a giveaway in the next video so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it let's get started all right so first off coffee so this is where we cure all of our soaps and they've been sitting here waiting for me to package them so for this order um i need to package 10 bars of the honey awesome soap um 10 of love spell and 10 of the lemon poppy and then these are our new soaps um, if you follow us on Instagram or TikTok, you'll see you would have seen me cut these these ones too these flower ones yeah oh and these ones are on TikTok as well our apple tree we recently just joined fair a month ago and we've gotten so many orders since we joined I was always really nervous about doing wholesale but I finally faced my fears and joined FAIR. So a couple reasons why I didn't want to do wholesale was because one, I didn't want to white label our products. I put a lot of time and effort into making all of my products so I don't really want someone else's name on it. And I didn't really know much about wholesaling and I figured that no other brands would want to buy products that wouldn't have their own name on it. So that's one reason. A second reason is I was super nervous about the shipping. So a lot of wholesale orders, they weigh a lot. So I was, I've never really dealt with sending packages that were really big and weighed a ton. So I was pretty nervous about that. And three, the whole process with wholesaling and putting my products up, making sure my prices were at the right point where I'm still making money. So after I figured out all of those and how I was gonna handle all those, I finally Joined FAIR, um, we got our first wholesale order within three days, I think it was, after joining FAIR. And then we got two more the next day. So it was pretty crazy. It's been keeping me really busy. I love it. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you a little bit about FAIR. Um, if you are a retailer and you want to buy some of our products, I'll leave a link down below. If you own a shop, you can purchase our products and it'll be our wholesale prices. So it's pretty nice. Um, so I'll leave a link down below if you want to purchase some of our products for your store and then for any brands out there that want to join fair it is a lot easier to join the platform if you use a referral link so i'll leave that link down below i tried applying like six months ago i think to fair and i didn't have a referral link and i got denied but i did use someone's referral link last or in december when i joined and i got accepted right away i'll leave that link down below for all retailers if you are looking to buy products if you're new to fair right now they're doing a promotion where you get 200 dollars off of your order and i think it's free shipping for a year so you could literally put in your cart 200 dollars worth of items and then get 200 dollars off plus free shipping so it's like getting your full first order free so yeah if you do want to purchase some of our products or if you want to join fair as a brand Check out my links down below. It's very simple. I will show you it's well worth it and it's not as scary as it seems. All right, everyone. So this is our brand dashboard for FAIR. So I'm just gonna filter this from the date that we started to where we're at now and show you how much money we've made and all of our analytics. So we've brought in $2,273 since December 16th. And then here's our conversion rate. There is an average rate of 3.8% in the beauty and wellness category. So far ours is at 2.7%. The sell through rate is just what brands sell in their store. They have the option to return their first order for free. Um, but the nice thing about FAIR is the brands actually don't deal with returns unless there's um, damaged product. But all the returns go back to FAIR and you don't refund any of the money. FAIR just will resell the products. Um, here's our rating. And then this breakdown is just the weeks in between the dates that we set. So this is how much money we made these 
weeks here. We did have a big break in January after the holidays, which is pretty common. We've had 11 total orders since we started. This is just our traffic page. It just shows the trends in traffic since when we started. Um, one thing to keep in mind about FAIR is that they do take a commission if they refer brands to your store. Um, so the first order will be 25% commission to FAIR. And then if that retailer reorders, then it's a 15% commission after that. Um, we just include this into our prices. If you do know retailers, you can refer them. There is a link to refer them to your shop and FAIR will get 0% commission for that. So you'll get all of the commission if you refer your own retailers. All right, so I am going to bevel these soaps. Some of them are already beveled, but um, I just used a potato peeler and then I put all my scraps in this to save for a confetti soap. You don't have to bevel your soaps. I just do it because it makes it look cleaner. Honestly, some bars I don't even do it because I like the rough edge. The lemon ones are a little harder to do with the poppy seeds in it. a before and after so this one's not beveled and you can kind of see like the rougher edge and this one is beveled so it's nice and smooth all right so now we are going to wrap our bars of soap these ones are all beveled and ready to go super cute with a little lemon so we have the national shrink wrap system i love it we used to have just like shrink wrap bags like square bags and you'd have to put the soap in there and then we had this machine that you like pull down the handle and it seals it kind of like this wand but it's like a whole thing we got it on amazon um i can link it down below it did work for a while we probably used that maybe for the first year that we were making soap and selling yeah so we upgraded and this is way more efficient um so i'll show you how we use it so there's like a sleeve of shrink wrap we use biodegradable shrink wrap so it's eco-friendly more sustainable so i fit about four bars in here barely <laughs> so there we go and then i will press down with the wand right up next to the bars and make sure everything is straight i hold it for a couple seconds and then you kind of angle it and rip this away And then I'll move this down and I'll get another row started. Um, and I'll have to fix the spacing after as I'm sealing them off. But this for now is good. And then I'll do the same thing. And then I make sure these are like an inch apart um, just so the shrink wrap doesn't stick together. And then I kind of push the bars all the way to the top and I wiggle it a little bit and I push down and I rock it a little bit and then I pull it. So that's how I use it. And then next I'll push the next row of bars up. I wiggle it so none of the sides pop open. And angle it. There we go. I try to get up as close to the bar as I can. Push down, hold it, angle it, and pull. And then I take my heat gun and I stack them up into two piles. And then because these are going to be sitting on store shelves, I like to take the heat gun and heat the bottom of it. And then I press it against the table and kind of shake it so the bottom is nice and flat. So sometimes you will get like a tiny hole in it. Um, if the hole gets big enough, I will rewrap it. But it's actually good to have a little bit of a hole in it um, for soap just so it can 
be exposed to the air and but yeah, I mean you don't have to. I I like it there. Alright, so now I am going to label all of the soaps. They are all shrink wrapped and ready to go. So I have clear labels that I got from online labels, and then I have a laser jet printer that I print these with. So these are just two by two clear labels. And I have a front sticker and a back. Try to get them as center as possible. There we go. But You pull me closer I think that I'm obsessed with everything that you do I take a little 4x4 four four box just to have them separate and I put all the same flavor in one box. I'll either use a 4x4, four four, a 5x5, five five, or a 6x6 six six, depending on how many they order, but they just ordered 10 of each flavor. There we go. And then I just close it up. And then I take a pen and I'll write pina colada or whatever the flavor is on the outside. That. And then I'm just going to put it right in here with these guys. Alright, so I have the package all taped up and ready to go. I put it in a large priority box. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you have any comments or questions. Feel free to leave a comment down below and we try to answer all of your questions. I wanna be with you. If that's the last